I now want to show you three different ways to uh, shade in every other row, uh, sometimes called zebra stripes. This makes it easier to read on the screen and also in print. So the first way is really uh, going ahead and copy or, or just go ahead and highlight one of your rows. Go to the Home tab and let's go ahead and color that in. Let's choose, uh, let's say, yellow. And then here's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and now highlight the yellow one and the white one that comes right after it. Select Copy. Then I'm going to highlight the remainder of the data. I'm going to scroll down here, hold the Shift key, and highlight all the way till the end. Then under Paste, we're going to go to Paste Special, and we're going to paste just the formatting. Now when I hit OK, those two rows, uh, the formats in those two rows get copied all the way down. That's one way to do it. It does get a little bit easier. I'm going I'm to undo what I just did. A second way to do this is by using conditional formatting. So first we're going to go ahead and highlight all of our data. I'm holding Control Shift 8. Then we're going to click on conditional formatting. We're going to uh, click on a new rule and we're going to use a formula to determine which cells to format and that formula is in the program. I'm just going to go ahead and copy and paste it here. Click on Format. Decide which color you want to use. There it is. And now when we hit OK, every other row should get uh, highlighted just like that. Alright, so I'm going to undo that and we'll go to the final way which really is uh, probably the best and easiest. I'm going to go ahead and highlight all my data again. In fact, this time I'm just going to go ahead and hit this little guy on the left corner and highlight the entire spreadsheet. We're going to go to ASAP Utilities, Columns and Rows, and we're going to color each nth row or column in the selection. So from here, it detected 35 rows. Rows is clicked on by default. Uh, the green color was probably the one that I used last. You can change it by clicking the fill bucket. Let's say we wanted to go with a light blue. And then it's going to, I'm going to go ahead and use the default here, conditional formatting, and I'll show you why here in just a second. When we hit OK, it's giving me a little bit of a warning. The existing cell colors will be removed. Continue, yes. And there we go. So every other uh, row is filled in. Now the reason why we wanted to go with conditional formatting rather than just standard cell colors is because any way, anytime I move this data around, let's just say I sort the data by race, okay, it'll always continue to shade every other row even though the data moves around. You can see now I'm going to sort by quarter one homework. Every other row continues to be shaded as it should be. As I scroll down you'll see this is going to be true across the entire spreadsheet even when I add new data. So those are three different ways to add zebra stripes to your data.